OMG guys, you won't believe what happened this week. This is the new Crystal Cave Temple's terrarium we all collaborated on and created for my OG super colony of yellow crazy ants. And this week, I moved the ants in. But you guys will totally freak out when you see what I discovered once the ants were transplanted into their new terrarium kingdom. Welcome everyone to the Ants Canada Ant Channel. subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Welcome to the AC family. Enjoy. All right, for those of you who are new, first off, welcome to the channel. This week, a titanic event occurred where we moved my multi-queen yellow crazy ant super colony into this custom designed high-tech terrarium, complete with rock shelves, crystal outcrops, mosses and plants, a waterfall, rain system, and even humidifying fog maker. It was one of the largest and most impressive enclosures for ants I've ever made. And I couldn't wait for the ant colony to move in. But as mentioned, when they did, I made a discovery that I think you guys will truly love. So keep on watching until the end for that. And for the big vote that will also be happening in today's episode. So let's get to it. Before we initiate the epic emigration into these lands, let's meet the ants that will be moving into this vast new kingdom. Meet the Golden Empire, which first made its glorious debut on this channel back in 2016. This would make them one of the OGs of our ant room, the Antiverse. And since then, they've been through a ton of crazy trials and tribulations, from terrarium revamps to surviving and killing carnivorous plants placed into their lands to control their population. They've undergone colony wars. They've even lived with predators like mantises and crayfish came close to dying out due to not one, but two might plagues to be revived again. And finally to this very moment where they move out of their current AC ant farm setup for the past two years and into this great terrarium kingdom to take their imperial throne as one of the most resilient and glorious ant colonies to ever rule in the Antiverse. So let's move them in now, shall we? First, I needed to make some preparations. Behold, our ant barrier. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Fluon, also known as PTFE. It's a slippery barrier, well known to ant keepers and widely used in insect laboratories. Usually I prefer to use baby powder as a barrier, which also works, but with this setup, baby powder just wouldn't suffice due to the fact that this terrarium is an open concept terrarium with a lower front glass, which will inevitably come in contact with rain and with the fog. Baby powder here would quickly be washed off, allowing for the ants to make an escape. In our other terrarium, the Ember Islands, it has four tall glass walls, and so we were able to put the baby powder barrier on an upside down lip, which won't come in contact with water from the rain system nor the fog, so we wouldn't have to worry about it weakening or having to replace it. So let's paint the Fluon onto the glass now, pouring the Fluon into this bowl and dipping a paintbrush gently inside. And now to paint a two inch layer all around. Now guys, if you ever use Fluon, remember that you need to open all windows or even better, do it outside. The fumes are not so good and can kill certain animals when breathed in at close range. Also, you can see Fluon isn't a very pretty substance to work with and can leave streaks so keep this in mind when using it. I try to use some wet paper towel to wipe up any drippage, but it's definitely not my favorite barrier to work with. The good thing about Fluon though, is once it's on and dry, it needs very little replacing, unlike baby powder. You'll see just how effective and slippery it is for the ants in a bit. Though unsightly, the barrier definitely keeps them inside. All right, and done. Next, I had to add baby powder to this cord, which connects to the water pump running the waterfall. This cord won't be touching the fog nor the rain, so we can add baby powder here. All right, guys, and now all was set. Let's move in the ants. Now, in the last major move we did emigrating our Phoenix Empire, fire ants, into their Ember Islands, we had to allow the colony to move in themselves by way of fixating tubes simply because there was no place in their setup to dump their nest if we wanted to make it quick. 
The process was super long and drawn out, and OMG, if you saw the episode where I had to stay up to make sure their one queen moved in, you'll know it was such an artist task. I could have done this for the Golden Empire, but the colony had hundreds of queens. I was confident they wouldn't get injured or drown, which was my fear in the Ember Islands with the Phoenix Empire. And in my mind, it was just much easier to carefully dump the soils of their outworlds and Ant Tower, in which the ants were nesting, directly into the setup. So I did. I detached each unit of their AC setup carefully. And because I used our AC valve connectors, available by the way at AntsCanada.com, I was able to disconnect each setup easily at every connection point. All I needed to do was turn this knob at the top. And like magic, it kept all the ants safely inside the tubes, making for no escapes. First to transport were all the ants inside this AC outworld. I opened the lid, removed one of the water test tubes, and placed it in first. Ants came rushing out of the test tube, eagerly into their new territories. I then carefully dumped the outworld soils into the terrarium. Tons of ants came pouring out with the soils, and a few ran up my arms and escaped, so I tried to sweep them up and throw them in. Now guys, let's take a look at the ants. As I watched closely, it was thrilling to see the first batch of the Golden Empire inside the terrarium. Hey look guys, it's one of the ant crickets! We saw these guys in a previous video of this colony. These tiny ant crickets are found exclusively in nests of yellow crazy ants and can't survive without them. The ants treat these crickets like members of the colony and even feed them. Happy to see them running around these territories too. Now check this out guys. The ants were unable to cross our Fluon barrier. Happy it was working. But guys, the most satisfying part was this. Watching this first batch of ants excitedly explore the uncharted new lands of our Crystal Cave Temple Terrarium. Let's enjoy watching them explore. From end to end, the ants left no square inch of the terrarium unexplored. They even checked out the waterfall. Okay, let's move in the next batch, placing in the second AC Outworld now. Emptying these two tubes, which had a lot of ants inside them. Now this outworld had a ton of ants inside them. Have a look! Alright, and now to dump in the colony's ant tower large into the terrarium. I then spread out all of this soil to more evenly distribute it along the bottom of the territories and even pushed some back into the darkened caves where I had hoped they would nest if they needed darkness. Ants were dashing everywhere. It's a good thing these ants didn't sting. They spray formic acid, but that's not enough to affect a human. It can, however, affect and blind other animals, so I made sure my dog wasn't anywhere near here during this process. If you look carefully, you'll also notice the soils were absolutely full of bioactivity. Springtails! Also allies of the Golden Empire were everywhere. These springtails feed on the ants' waste and leftover food. It was good to see that these springtails now had a whole new land to conquer and enjoy. It was so satisfying to watch the ants exploring their new lands. I watched them crawling around the rocks. Ants were exploring our waterfall. And the beds of crystals. I spotted a few of the queens running around and workers busy transporting and caring for the brood. Finally, the last batch of Golden Empire were moved in. Two AC hybrid nests containing the remainder of the colony. Now with these, I just had to place the hybrid nests into the terrarium and wait for the colony within to move out, as there was no way for me to shake them up. Simply exposing the colony to bright lights would be enough to encourage them to join their colony outside. I had allowed the hybrid nests to dry out over the past week as well, so I knew the ants would not hesitate to leave. Let's just allow the ants to fully settle in and enjoy their new kingdom home overnight. But you guys will trip out at what I noticed the next day. There were more than just the Golden Empire and crickets and springtails that moved into these lands on this night. The next day, I had removed the hybrid nests 
and was awestruck by the beauty of the ants living in their new kingdom. Take a few moments to sit back, relax, and have a look. And look guys, the ants had already built their ant hills and tunnels at one end of the terrarium, close to the lower caves. Aren't they just spectacular? They're super fast at construction. Now as I was examining the soil and moving some soil piles around, that was when I saw it. Do you guys see them? Look very carefully. Ants, but not the Golden Empire. These were other ants, a smaller species of ant, living harmoniously with the Golden Empire. Guys, these were the same ants living in our roach farm. They actually have free roam of my room. Not sure where they came from, but I did suspect they came from the soils, transported into the Antiverse back when I first had a termite farm. They were known simply as the free roam ants on this channel, as they literally had free roam of my room. They must have broken into my stash bag of soil, which I used for the Golden Empire's Outworlds, placing them in with the Golden Empire without me knowing. Well, looks like they've established themselves now, and I guess they've set up a colony living amicably with the Golden Empire. I don't think they'll be of harm to the larger yellow crazy ants, but I have to keep an eye on them to be sure. My guess is they help eat leftover pieces of food from the Golden Empire, or perhaps steal some of their stored food within the nest. I sure hope they aren't eating the Golden Empire's brood, but I think they're more like rats, living in the Golden Empire's lair, eating scraps. Only time will tell. But I guess it was kind of cool that we now had two ant colonies living in here, right? It was so satisfying watching the Golden Empire exploring their new kingdom. Alright guys, and now for an AC Family community vote. In the pinned comments of this video, I have placed 8 of my favorite name suggestions from you, the AC family. And all you guys need to do is hit like on your favorite name for this new massive kingdom of the Golden Empire. Whichever name ends up with the most votes will become the future name for this terrarium. Think hard and vote wisely, AC family. You guys never let me down. Thank you, AC Council, for your input. And so once again, the Golden Empire has acquired a new lush kingdom, a vast new territory they definitely deserve, considering their very turbulent history. For me, the Golden Empire were the perfect example of perseverance and resilience, something I consistently see in nature. The ants fight to live on, regardless of what life throws at them. And I see that as something I myself would love to emulate as a human being. I couldn't wait to see how the Golden Empire would love living in their new Crystal Cave Temple terrarium we made for them. But now on to some order of business we needed to take care of. Up on the peak of this plateau is fixated a sacred sacrificial table, placed here to be the site of our food offerings. Ever since we created this terrarium, I couldn't wait to finally place a roach onto it. And here was that roach now. AC family, it was time to witness the ants enjoying this delicious housewarming gift. In goes the roach. AC family, did you enjoy this week's episode? I can't wait to show you guys how the Golden Empire totally enjoys and adapts to life in their new terrarium. So many more ant videos are ahead, so if you haven't yet, do smash that subscribe button and bell icon now and hit all so you get notified at every upload. Also, don't forget to hit the like button every single time, including now. It would really mean a lot to me, guys. Thank you. AC and her colony, I have left a hidden cookie for you here. If you would like to watch extended play footage of the Golden Empire and co-inhabitants enjoying their new home, go check them out. And guys, be sure to visit AntsCanada.com for all your ant keeping and collecting gear shipped to you in a special package from our ant loving facility in the USA. So you can get the most out of your ant keeping experience. We ship worldwide and also offer full email support if you need our help. We also have a helpful forum and ant colony trading marketplace on the site. 
Visit AntCanada.com today. And now it's time for the AC Question of the Week. Last week we asked, name one difference between termites and ants. Congratulations to Mia Luth Allier, who answered, termites have a king and queen, and ants only have a queen. Congratulations, Allier. You just won a free Ultimate Ant Keeping Handbook from our shop. In this week's AC Question of the Week, we ask, what is one of the advantages of using Fluon as a barrier for keeping ants in their setup? Leave your answer in the comment section, and you could also win a free Ultimate Ant Keeping Handbook from our shop. Hope you can subscribe to the channel as we upload every Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video to help us keep making more. It's ant love forever.